Welcome on into Talk Wisconsin. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah. We have an excellent show for you today. We're going to feature some fabulous nonprofits. We're going to hear from Madison Magazine about what you can expect in this month's articles. And we're going to introduce you to Capital City Theater. I am so glad to have Andrew Abrams and Gail Becker. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. We have so much to talk about, but first I want to let viewers know what that is about Capital City Theater and your mission here in Madison and South Central Wisconsin? Well, our mission is to bring uh, professional musical theater uh, to the area. We perform mostly at the Overture Center. And uh, we use a mixture of a lot of local people, but we also use uh, some people from Broadway, um, Chicago. We bring people from in from all over the place. And our, our goal is to be a, a destination musical theater um, company and make Madison a destination town for people to actually want to come visit us to actually see some of the wonderful things that the Madison art scene has to offer. I love that. So yeah. helping us sort of be a hub for some mm -hmm. great. Well, arts. and we're so close to so many big cities yes. that it just it it there, it just makes so much sense that that people from Milwaukee and Minneapolis and even Chicago maybe can even you know venture up here and and see some really great musical theater. Absolutely, and you're off to a great start. Reviews for your last show, <laughs> The Hunchback of Notre Dame, were incredible. Mm -hmm. So you. let's talk about why people and reviewers loved this show so much. Uh, well, not only did we have um, over 80 people on stage at one point, we had a full orchestra, we had a full choir, um, we had these incredible artists that were not only local but from uh, New York and uh, DC and all over the country. Um, but just the story in general is so uh, wonderful and heartwarming and, and um, perfect for today's climate and it's just great. The music is ridiculous and of course, you know, Andy's up on stage. Um, doing the uh, uh, conducting the orchestra and it's just it's thrilling it was a thrilling production musically it's one of those those giant shows and, yes. and the orchestra was uh, is our orchestras are generally made up of uh, members of the madison symphony the madison Cham or the wisconsin chamber orchestra um, grads from the school of music it's usually a very professional orchestra so they're getting kind of a, a whole sort of sensory um, wow. overload and actually the guy that played our quasimodo was the was in the very original production um, as the as the cover the understudy for quasimodo so we were lucky to get lots of um, lots of uh, he had lots of stories about the original what the writers wanted what mm -hmm. they did what they weren't able to do and we were able to like absorb some of that so. Wow, how yeah, neat. Yeah. Visually, Fantastic. musically, it was all there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about your collaboration with Madison Ballet and why you've chosen to do that. Right, so so uh, Madison Ballet um, have always been supporters of us. They've, they've been right. very helpful in our growth. We've, we've only been around for four years. We're very young. Um, and we, we've always wanted to do a big dance show, and so it made sense for us to do, uh, we're gonna be doing On the Town, the, the Leonard Bernstein, um, Jerome Robbins show from the 40s. We're gonna be doing that this year at Overture Center at the end of May. Uh, and it's also Leonard Bernstein's 100th birthday, <coughs> so it made mm -hmm. sense for us to do that. Perfect. Um, and, the ba and it's a show that has a lot of ballet in it. And so it was it a perfect time for yeah. us to actually partner a little bit with the ballet because over the summers, um, we've been using a lot of the spaces that the Madison Ballet uh, has as well for our summer, summer musical theater intensives. So we've always worked hand in hand with sort of their scheduling and what they do. And again, they're just really great supporters and this was a perfect, perfect time to blend. And this year, we're gonna actually be have the orchestra in the pit and we're doing a full, fully realized set and costumes and everything, which yeah. is, 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 is a big thing for us. So. Awesome. So, yeah. I also know education is an important component mm -hmm. of what you're doing, so let's discuss that. And you have a new conservatory, I understand. Right, well this is something that Andy and I actually started for years and years ago, before even we uh, launched Capital City Theater. We had been working together with mentoring and using um, a summer program to really boost, uh, uh, bridge this gap between high school and college and beyond for a lot of musical theater performers. And then once Capital City Theater came around, we knew that this was gonna be a cornerstone for us. Um, so we wanted to build this uh, almost conservatory style you know, um, uh, classes and we really just wanted to have uh, it open to a lot of different opportunities for kids to come in and learn and be able to do not only performance but also backstage mm -hmm. crafts and, and other you know, um, stage craft studios, things of, of that idea. And wow. this year we get to actually you know, expand it from just the summer to year round and not only do we do year round classes but we also offer classes for adults. 
Okay. Which is great. That so is it's excellent. not only just, you know, kids and teenagers. Capital City Theater, congratulations on a successful four years. Thanks for all you do. Thanks Thank so you. much. Appreciate Gail that. and Andrew, we appreciate you being here. We appreciate you watching. We've got more Talk Wisconsin coming up after the break.